It's not that the planet Uranus is sideways, it's that its magnetic field is sideways. The planet's axis of rotation is almost perpendicular to the sun, which should mean that its magnetic poles should be pointing roughly north and south. But instead, its magnetic poles point almost due east and west. That makes Uranus's magnetosphere one of the weirdest places in the solar system, a sideways magnetic bubble that opens up at times, allowing the solar wind to blast straight into the upper layers of the planet's atmosphere. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what we know about the sideways magnetosphere. What makes it so unique? Why does it wobble? And how do planetary scientists think it might even open up to let the solar wind through? Let's get started! To understand why Uranus's magnetosphere is so weird, it helps to know a little bit about how magnetic fields work in general. Here on Earth, our magnetic field is generated by the churning of our planet's molten iron core. Those movements generate electric currents and that produces a magnetic field that extends from Earth's core out into space. Because Earth is a pretty regular oblate spheroid, its magnetic field also looks like a lumpy sphere with some distortion caused by our planet's atmosphere and the rotation of the planet itself. Earth's magnetic field protects us from the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun. If those particles hit Earth's magnetic field, they bounce off and form beautiful displays of light known as auroras. But what if you had a planet that spun on its side? Its magnetic field would look more like a flattened sphere along the equator, or maybe even more like a rugby ball. And that's what we see around Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter. Their magnetic fields are definitely influenced by their rapid rotations. But the magnetic fields around these planets are also shaped by other factors like the angle between the planet's rotational axis and the Sun. All the planets in the solar system except Uranus have an axis that is fairly perpendicular to the Sun. But Uranus spins almost exactly on its side relative to the Sun, which is really odd. And we're not sure why that is, so scientists use Uranus as sideways rotation to learn more about how magnetic fields interact with the solar wind. First, though, we need to talk about how we even know so much about Uranus's magnetic field. We learned a lot from Voyager 2 when it flew past the planet in 1986. It detected that Uranus's magnetic field was about 14 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field and it showed that the magnetic field was offset from the planet by about 57 degrees. In other words, the magnetic poles were pointing about 57 degrees to the east of where the geographic poles were. More recently, scientists have used radio waves to track the motion of ions in the solar wind as they interacted with Uranus's magnetic field. They found that the magnetic field lines were twisted and turned and the magnetic poles were actually moving as much as 21 degrees from their average positions. That means the magnetic poles can wander quite a bit. They may even cross over each other, which would be pretty trippy to experience firsthand. So the magnetic poles aren't fixed in place. They wobble around, but that isn't all. The data seems to show that the magnetic poles also precess around the planet's rotational axis like a spinning top. And that has led scientists to hypothesize that Uranus's magnetosphere actually opens up from time to time. See. The sun doesn't just shine light into space. It also blows charged particles into space. As those charged particles flow away from the sun, they form an expanding bubble called the heliosphere. That bubble stretches out to within about 120 astronomical units from the sun, but then it collapses back inward near the orbit of Uranus at about 19 astronomical units from the sun. The solar wind that streams past Uranus can drive magnetic field lines on the planet S night side all the way back toward the sun. Normally, the magnetic field lines close in a loop and stay bound to the planet. But every now and then, something causes the loops to snap back in on themselves and reconnect. And when that happens, a magnetic funnel gets created that points directly from the sun toward Uranus. 
When that happens, the solar wind can pour through the opening and hit the planet's atmosphere. Scientists don't know for sure what causes those magnetic field lines to snap and reconnect. It could be the result of disturbances on the sun, like a coronal mass ejection, where a big burst of plasma gets released. Or it could be something happening on Uranus. Maybe it is the result of the planet's internal heat moving from its core out into the mantle and causing shifts in the planet's atmosphere. Or it could even be related to the strange tilt of the planet's axis. Whatever the cause, the end result is the same openings in the magnetic field that let the solar wind through. Scientists estimate that these giant funnels appear about twice per Uranian year, which is about 80 for Earth years long. And they last about 60 days each. During that time, the solar wind can blast through the planet's magnetic field and hit Uranus's upper atmosphere. Now, before we go any further, we need to talk about what Uranus's atmosphere is like. It's mostly hydrogen and helium gas, just like Jupiter and Saturn. But unlike those two planets, it has a relatively thick atmosphere compared to its size. Uranus is about four times smaller than Earth, yet its atmosphere is still about ten times more massive. So it has plenty of atmosphere for the solar wind to interact with. When the solar wind hits the upper atmosphere, it collides with molecules of hydrogen and helium and knocks them off their regular paths. Those knockoffs get accelerated to very high speeds. Hydrogen atoms can reach 6 kilometers per second and helium can get up to 10 kilometers per second. And because Uranus rotates so fast, those fast atoms can travel thousands of kilometers before they fall back down to the planet's surface. As those particles move around, they collide with other neutral atoms in the atmosphere. And when they bump into something, they can strip an electron off, turning the atom into a plasma. So the solar wind hits the atmosphere and ends up ionizing parts of it. Scientists think that's why Uranus is such a good natural trap for cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are high energy particles, mostly protons, that zip around the galaxy. They're constantly bombarding the planets in the solar system, including Earth, but most of them pass right through our atmosphere without interacting with anything. For Uranus, though, the solar wind can ionize the atmosphere enough that the cosmic rays actually have something to bump into. They can ionize the atmosphere to a depth of 100 kilometers or more. That means cosmic rays hitting Uranus lose a lot more energy there than they do here. And that makes Uranus something like a cosmic particle trap. We learned about this from the Voyager missions and the fact that Uranus gets hit by more cosmic rays than you'd expect based on its distance from the galactic center. The ionized particles trapped in the atmosphere make beautiful auroras that have been observed around the planet by several telescopes. These auroras are humongous and reach latitudes much higher than Earth's. The ones on Earth usually only reach about 60 degrees latitude. But on Uranus, they extend up to 75 degrees latitude. And that's likely because the solar wind interacts with so much of the atmosphere. What's more, the auroras on Uranus don't circle the planet, but instead form a giant oval around the magnetic poles. That's a shape we also see around Jupiter. And scientists think it's related to the magnetic field lines converging to the planet at those poles. In fact, the auroras on Uranus tell us a lot about the structure of its magnetic field. Magnetic field lines that converge mean there's a magnetic island somewhere nearby. The spot where the magnetic field lines come together is called X and the spots where the field lines loop back out are called O points. Astronomers have found dozens of these X and O points in images of Uranus's auroras. And from studying the spacing of those features, scientists have been able to map out the structure of Uranus's magnetic field. Not only does it help us understand the structure of the magnetic field, but it also tells us more about the atmosphere. Since the solar wind only hits the planet through these magnetic funnels, the auroras that form are only in the shapes and locations that the magnetic field allows. 
That means astronomers can use the auroras to study the atmosphere's response to the magnetic field. For example, astronomers found that some of the auroral features aligned with mountains on the planet's surface. And because of the different densities of the gases in Uranus's atmosphere, they could even tell which gases were in the upper atmosphere based on how the auroras formed. So thanks to the sideways magnetosphere, Uranus can both ionize its atmosphere and trap cosmic rays. That turns the planet into a giant auroral display, which is great news for astronomers. It gives us a view of the planet's atmosphere that we just can't get from Earth. And because the auroras are so bright, they'll continue to reveal more secrets of Uranus's atmosphere for years to come. Thanks for watching this episode, and thanks to my supporters for making it possible for all of us to keep learning.